Hi, Demetra. Um, yeah, so I'm drinking my morning coffee and I'm just thinking about, um, I guess relationships in a way of how, and I think I already spoke on this, but this is coming to my mind now. As far as um, being with someone and spending time with someone, um, how can I say this? Like, like you, ba people basically be at work or at school just about all day. Sometimes both places. And when I say school, I'm talking about like 18 and older, college. I ain't talking about teenagers in high school. You know, I'm talking about the age that society say you're an adult, 18 or whatever. So whatever school you in, if you in um, CDL training, HVC, college, masseuse school, um, whatever kind of school, you know, regular college, a four-year college, a two-year, ten-year, whatever, and um, that, or were you at work? And then, like I said, some people actually do both, go to school and go to work. So I'm like, them the places that you be at most of the time. So I'm like, it makes sense to start dating somebody that you went, that you are in school with or that you work with because you get to see, you know, a little bit of how that person, well, not a little bit, if you see them Monday through Friday, you know, just about or whatever days, you get to see, like, they work ethnics and their customer service skills or how they treat people, how they um, come to work, are they late all the time, do they have excuses, do they respect authority, um, the, how they eat, you know, you might see, you know, what they eat, how they eat, do they prepare their own meal, do they order out, um, and then the side of conversations, like not dealing with work, do you know, like what do they talk about? And it could be in a group setting. It don't got to be like on a one-on-one -on -one conversation, like, hey, did you hear about this? Or did you go to this spot? Or do you listen to this music? It could be like a group conversation. And, you know, you can really get to see like how people you around really are. So, um, yeah. So I'm like, you know, if, and then if the person who's working or, and or going to school, if they do have a significant other already, it's like, say they just doing one thing, say they just, they just working whatever hours and they working. And if they significant other, if they live together and they significant other works too, it's like when they come home they're going to be tired you know they're going to be like energy lost or just whatever and if they got kids they want to be extra tired you know like they want to be want to interact with each other and then it's like oh what's the only time we only can be intimate is at night time to me that's like so boring like oh we just got to do it at night in the bed like because we're so tired and we might not even do anything because we're just tired and we got to wake up early. We got to do this. We got to do that. So you basically really don't even have, I mean, you do have a relationship, but it's like you spend more time with other people other than your partner, you know, when you get in the house, it's if y'all live together, you know, and that's another thing. That's why I'm like, I don't merge, you know, what how people... Well, it seems like just about with everybody feels so, though when you marry to somebody, y'all supposed to live together. And I'm like, I ain't going to fake. When I was younger, yeah, I was like, yeah, marriage, you get to come home to somebody and it's going to be so good and yada, 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 you know. But as I got older and realized some stuff, I'm just like, I wouldn't even want to see my son, my husband, my boyfriend my man or whatever every single day like I gotta see this guy every single day like I, I love the dude but far as being with somebody and seeing them every day is is to me it's going to get boring like yeah it's going to get boring it's like okay what do we talk about
work, how was your day, yeah, 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 and then the other person, you know, probably got something going on at work too, or probably don't, but it's like, we'll be just going to talk about work, what happened at, at your job today, what happened at my job today, what happened at school today, or you come home, you got to do work assignments, you got to research this, so that's time, that's homework that that you got to do at home that's taken away from our time. But I'm like, to me, that, that takes out, I ain't going to say the mystery, but that just takes out the, I don't know, excitement. Like, if you come home to your spouse every day, like, you wake up to them, you go to sleep and see if it's like, you know, like, can we go back to the dating thing when you just come over, one, you know, a couple of days off the week, spend some time, and then leave or, you know, or we go out and this and that and we spend the night or, you know, just the whole dating thing. Like, be excited to see the person. And I'm not saying people probably not excited when they come home to see their significant other. But the way I be saying the MERS, the divorce status, you know, rise up. It's like, what is the problem? Like, why is y'all getting married when I don't know I, I just think that just living with somebody or not even living with somebody just I don't know seeing that person every single day when y'all in a relationship getting married it's like yeah no it gets born so then go back to the work in the school okay so say you at work and then um you start dating you you start dating your coworker or whatever. So it's like, hey, why not? We see each other, I know how you are, you cool, you this, you that, yada yada yada, we co workers, we work together. I don't think that relationship will last neither as far as if y'all really work together closely because it's like I don't I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It, that's a weird thing. Um mm -hmm. I know I experienced that, but like far as I'm taking it back when I was in high school, not really so much as an adult working with with a, somebody that I was in a relationship with. I ain't going to say that, but I'm going to just go to back when I was in high school. So say you have a boyfriend, you in high school or a girlfriend, you in high school and y'all see each other Monday through Friday and then y'all probably go out to the movies or out to eat on the weekend or whatever every other weekend or just something but y'all go to school together you know we i went to school you know monday through friday and say i had a boyfriend i would see him throughout the day but we ain't had no classes together but we would see each other throughout the day and everybody would be like I don't, man, high school relationships, I, it seemed like people be all up in your business. If they don't see y'all walking together on a certain day, they're like, oh, they probably had an argument or something. It's just like, I don't know, high school, when I was going in high school, this was when well, I graduated in 2000 from high school. So I think I started high school, what, 1996, four years? Yeah, 1996. So... And that's young. So I'm going to just say not even, I mean, yeah, started high school 1996 through 2000. But I'm just talking about far as being in, a, just say, the 12th grade, a little bit older, not no 15, 16-year-old. But I don't know, like, that to me was pretty okay having a boyfriend in high school. You know, like I said, we didn't have any classes together and I didn't get tired of him you know we bypass each other he would walk me to some of my classes um you, you know I know his friends I ain't really had too many friends but I mean it wasn't we wasn't smuggling each other I guess that's the word I'm gonna say we wasn't smuggling each other and then come to find out you know he ended up going to another high school you know I'm talking about my high school sweetheart quote unquote so um but yeah, but when I was seeing him Monday through Friday, it wasn't, yeah, it wasn't that bad because we ain't had no classes together. We ain't even had lunch together. So it was like, okay, hey, 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 you know, whatever. But as an adult, I would assume like working or working with somebody Monday through Friday and then, you know, you dating them 
at the same time you working, you know, closely together, it's like, uh, and then y'all probably say, hey, you coming to my place after work? Or even if y'all got a place together, oh, mm -mm, that'd be too much. You working? <laughs> I most definitely know I couldn't do that. Like working together with somebody I go with, like closely seeing them and yada, yada, and then coming home with them, to them. But it is not. Nah, I'll be like, whew, when I get a break from your face, no, no, no. So, I mean, if anybody out there do that, whew, goodness, that, no, nah. mm-mm. So, just say y'all in a relationship and y'all working together, okay? So, obviously, y'all started dating because y'all was working together and y'all seeing how each other, you know, communicate with other people and communicate with each other and, like I said, customer service, um, you know, that work ethnics and you know the respect for other people and you know stuff like that fine and then y'all was like hey cool let's start dating whatever and y'all start dating y'all don't live together but y'all dating to me i think that's like kind of weird too because it's like y'all really can't have that i don't know have that free time is that the word i want to use at work i mean because you know you got to keep a professional at work so you still got to basically have your job, whatever duties you got to do first before y'all do any like, oh, yeah, relationship kind of stuff like that. And then most times jobs be like, you got to sign this that y'all can have no relationship with co-workers or no relationships with a higher uppers or lower uppers, you know, whatever. So most places that I know of, you got to sign something like that. You know, so I'm like, damn, dictating that you can't even um, date your co-worker, you know, or something. I don't know. That's weird. Kind of think about it. But, um, I don't know. Was that it? I'm just like, I don't know. I, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. Like, and then even the marriage thing for me, like, I don't even... This whole marriage thing, like, who in the world? <laughs> I don't know, man. This mar a piece of paper. It said, oh, yeah, we married. And then you got to pay for this and pay for that. And then now your relationship is governed by the, the government. It's governed by the government. Like, you got to do this. You, if y'all want to break up, you got to go through these steps. You got to pay this amount of money. You got to step one, step two, step three. You got to wait this many years. It's like, damn, can I, I just want to leave. <laughs> y'all might as well say boyfriend and girlfriend. Because getting married, shoot. And then going through a divorce, the steps, the money. And then if you're dealing with somebody that's like bitter on either end, who want to just take, you know, um, more than what they came in with, like just being greedy, you know, and say the other person offered more than enough, but they like, no, I want this, I want that. It's like, oh my goodness. So, mm, the whole marriage thing, that's like, mm -mm, that's a setup. Like, that's how I'm realizing, like, marriage is a setup when it comes to this government and signing papers and documents and, you know, not being really in control of your own relationship. And that, you know, and it's so hard to leave out of of that relationship when you marry, you know. So, yeah, and it seems like people be changing up when they get married, too, on both ends, men and women, you know. It's like, oh, yeah, we married, so that means you, I don't got to do this now, I don't got to do this. Or you can, you have to stop doing this, or you can't do this anymore. Because we married now. And it's like, what? How are you going to tell me that I can't do this? Or I got to start doing this because we married. It's like, we, no. And, and that becomes arguments and stuff like that. It's, I'm like, listen, if, if that person wasn't doing something that you wanted them to do before marriage. Or stop doing something that you want them to stop doing. Just whatever. Before marriage, then why even go forward with marriage? It's like all that, you know, 
should have been done previously before the I do's. If you if you want somebody to stop going to the clubs and you know and stop dressing a certain kind of way, and then they still doing it while y'all you know in a serious relationship and you keep mentioning to them, can you stop doing it? And then months later they still doing it. Like I wouldn't even that would have been it. I'm like, look, you know we ain't for each other. You know. Right, there's the smallest things, like, you can't even stop going to the club, you know, you can't even stop doing this, I'm telling you, like, what's up, what's up at the club, you don't need to go to the club, I'm telling you how that made me feel, you still going to the club, so why am I still in a relationship with you, like, because we want to keep having arguments about the club, or about, you know, a certain thing that keeps being constantly brought up, it's like, why keep having arguments about the same thing? So it's like, why even be in a relationship with somebody having arguments about the same thing? Like, y'all not tired? She just talking about it. Like, I'm not going through it. But I'm just saying, I feel it. <laughs> like, I feel it. It's like, whew. so I'm like, why y'all still be in relationships when y'all, you know, telling these people months, can you stop? Can you stop? Give it a few months and they still are doing it. Like, come on now. It's plenty of other men and women out here. Well, Y'all keep giving one person a thousand chances. And you can give a whole new person one or two chances. And then, nope, go to the next one. You know, in, in time, not like right after each other. Go into another relationship. But I'm just saying, that one person, y'all be giving thousands of of times, you know, with, you know, they done apologize a thousand times and stuff like that. And y'all still with that one person is like, there's other people out here that's probably like, hey, can you give me at least one chance? <laughs> but, um, so, yeah. So about, um, what about to say? Marriage, um, oh yeah, and the person officiating the marriage or well, the ceremony, I'm like, oh my god, I seen this show, I don't know, the, I forgot the name of it, it was like an old show, or whatever, old episodes, probably still come on now, but I don't know, but it was in Las Vegas, it took place in Las Vegas at a wedding chapel, and you know, a lot of people, you know, they get hitched, <clears throat> they get hitched, I think that's the word, elope in Vegas at one of them wedding chapels. So the um show was taking place inside one of the wedding chapels in Vegas. And then so they hired somebody new to officiate the weddings and stuff like that. So the person who they hired, they had to go online and take a class and get their certificate that they can ordain a wedding. I'm like, you can go online and then take a few classes and pay for this. And then that same day, you can get certified to officiate a wedding. I'm like, what kind of stuff? <laughs> Whew, I'm like, wow. And that was like a few years ago I seen an episode like that. So I was like, damn, anybody can officiate a wedding. So I'm like, that just shows you that wedding is not even really taken seriously. Like, do marriage supposed to be taken seriously anyway? Like, and then for the Christians... It's like a lot of them get married in churches, and it's like, was Jesus married? Well, some say he was, some say he wasn't. But the ones that say he wasn't married, it's like, so why y'all getting married? Oh, because marriage is in the Bible, and other people got married, so marriage is cool. But from, I could be wrong, but from what I know, the marriage is in the Bible, they ain't have no ceremony, they ain't exchange no rings. It was like, Hey, I don't know. I guess they just was intimate and was like, hey, we're together. We're married. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But shoot, if that was going on now, just having, you know, being intimate with somebody and then be like, oh, y'all, yeah, we married. Shoot. You know how many. <laughs> shoot, so many people been cheating. Shoot, I want to been cheating on so many people throughout the years. I ain't even get a divorce. But I'm married to a couple of people. A few people. Shoot. But, um, what else? I don't know. I'm just talking right now. Um, 
Oh yeah, so basically, um, I don't know, I got on to the subject about relationships of working and schooling, going to work and going to school and dating somebody. So, mm, more power to y'all. If y'all can handle that, if that's what some people are doing, um, dating coworkers that y'all see every day. And, I, and then when I say dating, I mean in a relationship, not no just hooking up. I mean like in a relationship with somebody. And if y'all doing, you know, doing that with y'all co-workers and y'all making it work and then after work, y'all live separately, but y'all still hang out after work, it's like, oof, you know, somebody stay the night over somebody's house and be like, you ride with me to work? You ride? It's like, damn. And I just, mm, I'm sorry. I just, that's just me. I would just be like, I need some time to myself. Mm-mm-mm. Like I said, it's the enjoyment of when you see that person, like, from not seeing them a couple of days, and then, you know, you know, y'all playing, okay, yeah, on Thursday, I'm coming over, yada, 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 okay, cool, and this is after y'all haven't seen each other in, like, two to three days or whatever, and then when Thursday come, y'all gonna be like, oh, I miss you, you know, like, that energy would be, like, so genuine, and it would be like, oh, so real. Like, I experienced that, so I know. So I know it, it's a good feeling. And then, but seeing that person every single day, and it's like you don't have nothing to miss. Oh, that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, it's nothing to miss. And not saying that you're supposed to miss somebody, you know, but it's kind of good to miss somebody knowing that you're going to see them again, you know, that they're coming over in a couple of days. It's like, ah. Uh, the anticipation, you know. So, mm-hmm. and believe me, one guy who I was dating, and you know, we used to see each other, you know, every few days or whatever, and then you know, he would leave and go home and stuff like that. But that one time when he stayed the night, I think it was like two or three nights in a row, maybe two nights, but it was three days we spent. I don't know. It was two to three nights. I don't. I can't really. I don't really want to narrow down trying to think about how many days right now. But it was two to three days. That's all I know at night. So I'll, you know, come home from work. Sometimes he'd be already there. Sometimes you know, come over a little later. But we woke up. Well, we went to sleep together. And then we woke up. And then you know, got dressed for work. Left out. We wasn't working together at the time. And then come home and see him. And then. You know, he did his thing throughout the day. I went to work, did my thing throughout the day, and then came home, spent time with each other at nighttime. And it was just like after, yeah, I think after that third day, I don't know, was it two days or three days? I can't remember. But I know after that last day or during that last day, I was in my mind like, and I'm quite sure he was in his mind too, thinking like, okay, like, this is nice, but... I need some time away, like, you know, it's cool, like, the, you know, to see her or to see him, you know, every night and go to sleep with her and wake up with her, you know, and then me wake up with him, but where's that, you know, we need that time, even though we was, we was separately throughout the day, but we were still, like, interacting, you know, with what we had to do outside of the household, so that was, like, energy. So then, you know, energy given to other people and things and stuff like that at work. And then we come home, you know, it's like, okay, yeah, happy to see you, this and that, seeing you yesterday, who, I mean, I don't know, I can't explain it. But all I know after that second or third day, I was like, uh, in my mind, like, uh, hopefully this last night he's staying over. I don't want to be like, hey, can you not stay over tomorrow night, this and that. But sure enough, like, I ain't even had to say that. And I, like I said, I know he was thinking the same thing, too, because later on he was just like, well, you know, this is my last night staying, and I'll see you in a couple of days, and this and that. I'm about to, you know, go back home after this and whatever. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. That's that's what's up. All right, you know, thanks for chilling with me these, these couple of days. I appreciate it, you know. So I was in my mind like, okay, whew, good. And like I said, I know he was feeling the same way, too. Like, all right. <laughs> but, yeah. So that's why I'm just like, husband and wives or whatever it is, it's like, 
if y'all can mm, and that's why I be thinking some parents be or people in relationships be sleeping in different bedrooms because it's like damn I gotta see your face when I wake up when I go to sleep like yeah like I, I come home I just want to chill you know after work but I gotta do this I gotta do that and then we got kids in the house gotta entertain the kids and then the guy probably be out don't come back in until like nine at night when the kids are settled down after the mom done got the kids settled and ready for bed the man come in the house he already ate or sometimes he didn't eat yet or want the food that the wife done cooked so eat and then the wife be tired and he come in and it's just like the wife probably be already in bed or vice versa the husband be already in bed and i mean it's like y'all really have like a, re a marriage relationship i don't know that's that's weird but for the people who've been married you know and, and y'all handling it cool good who and good, like, that's what's up, love is good, everybody should, you know, have that true love, the truest love, not the fake love, you know, so, um, I don't know, I guess that's about, that's about it, I don't know why I was just thinking about, about that, so I don't know, somebody is, is cheating on somebody at work? or something because that's my original conversation and I can see how that is a possibility because again you see your co-workers probably more than you spend time with your spouse and then when you see your spouse if for some reason y'all just arguing the little bit of time y'all spend with each other you're going to be like damn like I only really see you four hours out the day, three hours out the day, and we arguing for an hour about some BS. It's like, shoot. So I don't know. So that's, um, I guess, somebody energy that I'm feeling, or a lot of y'all energy that I'm picking up on. I don't know. I think y'all just want to get out of relationships. And I think that's what it is. Y'all just tired of, of looking at the same faces mm. and the same faces I think that's what I'm feeling I was like time for a change like mm -mm -mm. but um alright I was probably I was just thinking about something else too but I only want to make this video too long but I'll probably come back on and talk about what I was thinking about and it's about hus husbands having a wives work you know what I'm gonna just say it real quick because it's not really that serious or that really lengthy what I gotta say what I gotta say about that let me just stay focused and and get it out <laughs> okay so wives having um their husbands work I was watching this was years ago I was watching something on YouTube a lady on YouTube and she mentioned like you know yeah she is stay at home wife and everything and then she was like she was boldly like expressing the fact that she felt as though like strongly that for a real husband he should not let his wife work because therefore especially if your wife is a good person she's smart she's funny she's intelligent she looks good she smells good and she's working in whatever work that she does she's around other men so it's like now you giving um, other men opportunity to be around your wife's energy. So and then you being a man, you know how men how men can be. Like, hmm, she looks good. She's funny. You know, if I just slide in a little bit with her and you know offer some offer her a meal or or this or that or whatever, it's like a you know trying to ease their way into the woman um personal space i don't know so anyway so she was like really strong on like yeah you know my husband know he you know his wife shouldn't work or whatever and she was like i'm not staying home doing nothing you know i'm doing some other stuff you know like home businesses and stuff like that but i'm not around 
other men. You know, my my husband, he he go out, he do what he got to do. He's a provider. And when he come home, everything is, is clean, is, you know, it's cooked. His food is cooked. You know, the house is clean. The kids are settled. You know, dogs are fed. You know, like whatever. So it's like, yeah, when my husband come home, he don't got to do too much but just relax and enjoy whatever, you know, his his home. So I was like, you know what? That kind of makes sense. I can see where she's coming from as far as, like, having your wife, not your girlfriend or not, you know, your fiancé, but I guess soon to be, you know, wife, fiancé, that's like half and half. It's like, okay, fiancé, you know, once we get married or even now, a couple of months before we get married, you know, I don't want you to be working. But now in this society, it's like, hey, you, you got to have income. I ain't going to say you got to, but it just seemed like both people or all people probably need to be working to pay bills and stuff like that or whatever. You know, so that's why, oh, that's another thing. Now, so I'm thinking a lot of people, you know, just stay together because they like shoot is cheaper for me, for us just to live together because we going half and half. You know how much these apartments be or homes be for a month. So it's like, hey, two of us together, we split that down the middle and it worked out with both of us. But at the same time, it's like, do it really? Because y'all don't even want to be together. It's just the whole thing of saving money. Oh, so that's what it is. That's what I'm feeling. Like, yeah, so a lot of y'all probably just want to be like, up you. <laughs> like, I don't want to see you. I don't know. Yes, a lot of people in relationships that relationships that y'all don't want to be in. That's what it is. That's what it come down to. But getting back to the husband and the wife thing, like, I kind of agree with that. Like, coming from me, like, not all, you know, and I'm not saying, oh, woman, you shouldn't have your own thing and stuff like that. But I'm like, I get it where she's coming from. And I would say, for me, I would completely agree with that. That's just me. I would completely agree that because I know the type of person that I am throughout I, when I say ever since I was younger, you know, what I can remember, it's like I can just say hi to a guy, to a friend, to a boy, to a man, just out in public, mind my business, and we walking past each other, or we in the same grocery aisle or whatever aisle that we in, and then, you know, I'll be like, excuse me, you know, like trying to get through, and they'd be like, oh, my bad, or whatever, and be like, hi, hi, or we just walking past, hi, hello, you know, and then I might keep going, mind my own business. But then I get that energy of, oh, goodness, this guy might think that I like him. I used to, when I used to work or whatever, at different places, like, I would just, you know, just interact with different guys, like, just on a cool level. Like, hey, hey, how y'all doing? You know, they would come up and be like, hey, how y'all doing? You know, be a group of people, group of us. And then I would say something, then I just get the energy of, oh, goodness, I, I you know, that guy, I just felt like he is attracted to me now or you know something and then sure enough the guy be trying to come over and have small talk with me and I'm just like I can't even say hi to these guys without them thinking that I'm interested in them like goodness I'm not interested in you <laughs> and in me like I'm a person who smiles easily so if a guy like say something nice about me or to me and I can hear it plenty of times throughout the day but if I know it's really genuine like I do smile I blush a little bit but I'm like that's just natural like I'm not blushing because oh my goodness you, I think you're so you know I, I want to date you I want to be with you now it's like no nah, that's like a genuine compliment and that blush and it's natural so thank you that's all it is you don't gotta you know, be trying to entertain me, be trying to come up and have little small conversations and be like, hey, what are you doing this weekend? Or yada, yada, yada. I'll be like, listen, and especially in the times when I don't even be having a man and then guys be doing that, trying to talk to me. I'll be like, in my mind, like, should I just lie and be like, say I got a man? But at the same time, I'm like, I, I shouldn't have to because, <laughs> shoot, I um that some for some guys I wouldn't even make a difference. Oh you got a man, oh who cares? You know, 
where's he at? Or you got a man and he let you work, you know, you around, you know, this place and that place. I used to get that a lot though. When I was younger, when I was going to the clubs and stuff like that, and which I didn't get it at the time, but I know now, but when I was dating somebody or whatever a situation ship that I was in, I was going to the clubs, of course, you know, dress all cute and nice with the heels and, you know, looking all nice and cute. And then so I'll be dancing with guys and stuff and guys be like, yeah, you know, buy you a drink, get the drink. And then, of course, they ask for the number. And I'll be like, oh, I got a man. You got a man? I'm like, yeah. Your man lets you out. Your man lets you come to the club. Your man lets you dress like that. And in my mind, I'm like, what? Huh? So I'll be telling the guys, like, yeah. Like, what that have to do with anything? They be like, you don't got no man. And I'm like, okay, I do. And I'm not giving you my number. So, not knowing at the time, well, I wasn't getting it at the time that, you know what, females, guys even were saying it in my face, like, basically, low-key. Like, if they had a girl, well, we'll just say me, if I was their girl, they would not let me be out at no club. They would be like, you need to take your ass home hey go to a restaurant with your girlfriend just sit at a restaurant and eat you ain't going to no club you know nothing so guys was you know actually giving me telling me that on the low key like nah if you in a good relationship with your man or your husband then lady you don't need to be out at no club nah not if I see you every weekend or every other weekend at this club nah if it's a Hey, can I get your number, this and that? And I'm like, oh, I got a man. Your man lets you out? Well, I don't go out like that. This is my girl's birthday. So we just out, you know, I'm just out for, you know, to celebrate her birthday. Then they could probably be like, oh, all right. But yeah, but anyways, that's all. Um, Yeah, all right. <laughs> that's all I had to say. Bye.